Mike Sports Talk. Let's talk basketball trade deadline, Super Bowl, and the Hall of Fame. The latter the biggest here locally. Can we get a couple bears enshrined in Canton, Ohio? Joining us now, fresh off his morning radio shift, the never not working Marshall Harris. Marshall, thanks for making time for us. I'm just squeezing you in right before I take that nap before I come back and, you know, do the night shift. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That, that tiny, what is that, 45 minute nap? No, no, maybe? I'm, I'm going to get a good hour, hour and a half. All right. Minutes. All right. 90 minutes. OK, you deserve every minute of it. So we've got a number of former Bears uh, potentially headed to Canton. Lock, not lock. Who's in? Who's out? Your thoughts? Well, reports broke this morning from multiple sources yeah. that we are going to have three different uh, candidates with Bears ties into the Hall of Fame. The most notable of those, of course, is Steve Mungo McKnight McMichael, who if you remember, it was a big part of that 85 uh, Bears Super Bowl team. Uh, he, he's second all time in the franchise in sacks. Uh, he's dealing with ALS right now. Uh, he's 66 years old, and this is just a huge, huge moment for his career, his legacy mm -hmm. to get into the Hall of Fame. Also, we've got the greatest return man of all time, Devin Hester, headed to the Hall of Fame. He's expected to, to go into the class of 2024 into that Pro Football Hall of Fame. Nobody's returned more kicks to the house than that man. They had to change the rules, Brad, so that, you know, there'd be fewer kickoffs because he was active. The Bears, one of six teams voting against that rules change because they had the most dynamic return man in the history of the sport. He's finally going to get his due in Ken. And Julius Peppers, who spent four seasons with the Bears as they after they got him as a free agent out of Carolina, he is uh, fourth all time in NFL in the sacks department with 159 and a half. Looks like he's headed to the Hall of Fame as well. So three different players with Bears yeah. ties all headed to Canton. And right now, if you're a Bears fan, because there's so much we don't know what's going to happen next, whether it's the number one pick, the quarterback position in general with Justin Fields, and of course, State. where are they going to be playing in the next five to ten years? This is welcome news for a fan base and a Bears organization, which just needed something to hang its hat on. I mean, you're absolutely right. Huge news. And God bless uh, Mongo McMichael. Devin Hester, hey, if you're good enough to change the rules of the game, you belong in the hall. And Julius Peppers, frankly, a name I hadn't heard of in a long time. He I was think a I beast, used Brad. A, Tech Mobile a maybe a couple times. Wow, uh, don't date yourself like that, Brad. They don't need to know that. People I'm don't even sorry. know what Tech Mobile is I that know. are watching the street. No, no, no. They, if, if they played it, they'd stop playing it thinking this is boring. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so Super Bowl is on, of course. Uh, you know what's on? It's on, apparently, CBS. I've, I've, been, I've been hearing that. I don't know if you heard that, my man. Yeah, you're supposed to be hearing it, promoting it, letting everybody yeah, know, I know, shouting I it from the rooftops. Yeah, I know. 17 times this morning, so that's 18. So it's a rematch of Super Bowl 54 between the Chiefs, 49ers. Uh, Kansas came out on top in that one. The Chiefs are slight underdogs. They never bet against Mahomes. Mahomes, the Chiefs QB, 9-3. and three when odd makers call him the underdog 49ers out for revenge who do you think comes out on top you, you talked about Patrick Mahomes right I mean yes mm -hmm. if you look at the two rosters the 53 man rosters the Niners would seem to have advantage towards the top of the roster they've got uh, more elite right, players right. if you will but Patrick Mahomes 14 and 3 all time in the postseason okay Mm -hmm. Just just really let that wash over you. This is yeah, his fourth know. Super Bowl. He's lost three games in the postseason in his career. Two of those are to the GOAT, Tom Brady. That's sick. The other one is to Joe Burrow. We know how good he is as a quarterback. Mm -hmm. No one else has been able to knock him off. I'm going with the GOAT, the new GOAT, mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes. He's going to prove that over the next few years, although he'll never surpass Brady because he couldn't beat him in the playoffs. Yeah. The young GOAT. What is a young GOAT? Is a young GOAT still a GOAT? Or is it like a geek? I, I don't know the technical term. Google for, that. I, I didn't take animal Young biology. Go. I can't. Young go. The, 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 num, the name and culture. The, the name and culture. Nomencl no, nomenclature. Nomenclature. Yes, it, it escapes me at this moment. It's a kid. Oh, apparently, it's a kid. I'm being told in my ear. A young goat is. Called oh yeah, a kid. I knew that. Yeah, young goat is a kid. I don't okay. know. All right, all yes. right, all right, all right. Last so we'll just one. call Patrick Mahomes the kid from now. <laughs> okay, now to the hoops. NBA trade deadline is today, two o'clock local time. Bulls limping as they push their their way potentially for the playing tournament. Zach Levine, he's out surgery. Boom, shutting him down. Rest of the season, putting him. Um, the best trade chip on the shelf. That leaves uh, 
DeMar, DeRozan, Alex Caruso, Andre Drummond, big names could be shipped out to ship someone else in. Do you see it all playing out? How do you see it? I'm looking real hard. I'm trying to, I'm squinting. Um, it's not loaded into this teleprompter. Oh, there's nothing to see here. That's what's know, going that's on. Yeah, that is. Yeah, the, the trade problem. deadline's at 2 o'clock. Uh, I don't see the Bulls doing anything. Um, our church, Connor Sovis, the uh, VP of Basketball Operations for the Bulls. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, Mark Eversley, the GM. They've been very resolute in what they're trying to do. Uh, they, they put together a team with Lonzo Ball, as you might remember, who's had three knee surgeries since he signed with the Bulls. Uh, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRozan, Nikola yeah. Vucevic. That's their big four. Last year this time they said, well, we need to see those guys healthy to know if we have what we need. Because at one point this team, two years ago, at the top of the Eastern Conference standings halfway through the season. Right. They're just going to stay the course. Yeah. I think they're going to stay the course. They might make a small move around the margins, but if anything, it might be because they think they can win more. They're in ninth place right now, which would get them into the play-in tournament. Right. They're three games under 500. They've been kind of middling there for quite some time, yeah. a little bit and over a stuck. month. And, and right now, they believe that this is a they, – they've just re-signed Nikola Vucevic to a contract. DeMar DeRozan in a contract year, this would be a perfect time to move him or Alex Caruso, who a lot of championship contenders want. But it looks like they're going to stay stand pat right now and just roll with what they got. All right. It sounds very, you know. One of the words I that was used today to describe the already. Bulls, like I'm apathy. Looking. Apathy was one yeah. of the words used yeah. by a Bulls fan yeah. today. And I was like, that's never good. I think Chicago is feeling that about their Bulls. Okay. My man, enjoy those 90 minutes of rest. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. All right. See you, Brett.